Hmm. Okay. Another video from me on the same day. <clears throat> so I wanted to talk about a topic that I think I have from a while. And that is, you know, not being where you want to be. I mean, sometimes I do really think about this. Like, okay, <clears throat> I want to be at a some some sort of number. Okay, I want to be at let's say for example an X number that is let's say just some number you know X number. And when you reach that X number, you know, then there is new number that is the Y number. When it comes down to chasing money, is what I'm talking about. When it comes down to chasing the relationship, it's the same thing. Like you want to first want a girl. When you get the, you want to marry her. When you marry her, you want kids. When you get kids, when you want something else, you want to feed them. You want to grow them. You want to. When the kid becomes, <clears throat> you know, two years, three years old, you want to start putting him into classes. Like, there is always a, a race going on in your life, where you have to catch something the next. Like you need to, you need your kids to do well, and you know, be in some sort of activity or something like that like there's always some sort of chase going on at all given times and i personally like the chase i'm not gonna lie i kind of like the chase okay but when it comes down to being actually realistic right with the chase part like will everybody be able to chase it no and if somebody is not able to chase it is he right or wrong like what happens like <coughs> At what point does it become <coughs> valuable to chase something? And at what point does it become like, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to, you know, take this decision, that decision. Where does it all end? Where, where do you find peace? Right? Like, where do you find like, okay, fine. Now I'm done. Now I'm relaxed. I sometimes find peace to be very honest. Like sometimes when I see somebody else, like as I feel as human beings, we are so attached to what other people are doing, right? Like we as human beings are super social. So whenever somebody else, I've seen this with everybody. It's not like this with me. Everybody is so super attached to someone else. Like for example, liberals would be happy when, you know, some right winger gets caught doing something. And right wings would be happy when a liberal gets caught doing some sort of an wrong act. Whereas, like, they're more happy about somebody else's fall than they're, you know, sad uh, or happy about their own achievements and stuff. So, as, as, like, even for the competitions, you know, like, we as human beings are, we're just very, we're like, no, I'm not going to say competitive, but in competitions, we are a bit of a more like, okay, I don't want to win, but I want everybody to lose, right? And that kind of a notion. Like, we want just to be better than everybody. That's what even I want, to be very honest. I kind of embrace it, to be honest. But I really like to understand it, you know, like, why do we do that? And, and like, is it okay? Is it is it right? Is or is it wrong? Personally, I don't know the answer, but what, what generally, general note, notation, what I've seen is this is what makes us run, you know, because when your kid doesn't perform as well as the other kids in, in your school, you are lagging behind that other guy uh, or the girl, and then you're chasing your kid to be like them or better than them, and, and this chase just keeps happening. And then this chase is very also very limited. Like there's a limited chase that we have. Okay. You don't want to go beyond the scales. Like you want to be in the scales, but you want to do the best in the scales. So for example, these people would never, never, ever compete with a person from another league. So they're leagues, right? Like we all have our leagues. We all have our limits that our, 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 our parents set us with. Like for example, um, you know, if like you like, let's say, for example, you're coming from a farmer's background, then all you your league uh, lets you do is basically go to the next step, and that step is like be a job guy, you know, and like get a normal salary and be with the family and do all those things. 
you don't want to do too ambitious or your family and friends are going to start having problems like you can't really dream about becoming a billionaire when you are you know uh just a farmer normal farmer like running wage to wage is what i'm talking about so like extremely um, you know uh poor farmer technically so yeah technically what i'm trying to say is there are levels like an is officer mm, max wants uh, his um or her son to be you know part of like the the pm's office or like like they they want them in the same line like they want them in bureaucracy they don't want him to go and just become a minister directly right or maybe even they want him to become a minister but they probably don't want the kids to become a, like a business tycoon or a dancer like a very big dancer or a very big musician they were like a musician son doesn't want their children to be become a very big farmer or a very big like or, or doesn't want them to join the army or doesn't want like an army son they they you know their parents t- like put them in the army like they want them to go to the army they want them to do that certain things they don't want them to you know look outside the box and then do something else but at the same time we are hypocrites because when we when we talk about nepotism it's like okay um when you had x money right you spend it all on your uh, son's education and marriage and all of that for so that you can get societal ex- acceptance and you can set off your son but when ambani does it for his son then it's nepotism when when um when when somebody else like a uh, film star does it for their son or daughter then it's it's nepotism because you know uh, they should give every talent um you know acceptance but did you give your money to some other kid so that he can do well did you give your money to the kid on the street who had nothing absolutely nothing so that you can empower him or her you didn't but you are expecting those people to give, to give whatever their legacy they had to some some random kid on the block like why they would give it to their children like they want their children to succeed no matter what the talent is like who gives a shit about talent in this world everybody cares about who they love their family and all of that stuff nobody really cares about the other people right so we are in this weird race this this we are never ending race with our own selves we do not think out of the box we do not think life as just experiences we think about it like okay i need to do this check box check box check box i personally myself a lot of times put a lot of check boxes right to for myself and then i get suffocated suffocated and then i be like okay fuck i have enough for my age i've done enough for my age i can now just relax and enjoy what life i'm being offered right i've worked hard to get where i am to i can work hard to get to go to 10x 100x 1000x more than where i am but at the same time i need to stop relax see what's around enjoy what i'm living and then grow because otherwise what it happens is i i don't remember my fourth year because i never lived it right i don't remember my second and third year because i never really lived it hai na i do remember my 11 12th because i did live them but the other years they just vanished because i was not focused on what's happening around me i was just focused on certain things in life and like i was just you know this is what happens when you even get in a relationship you focus on one thing and everything just becomes a, a by product that's what happens when you are in this weird race everybody else around you this becomes a nobody and you are the main character which is good i like the main character syndrome but it becomes to a certain extent that you just don't feel connected with the life and you just you know just is doing things so that um you can you know jump to the next race and most of the time people when they even jump to the next race they are not satisfied they don't try to enjoy life they just you know they just now in another race the new one you know that they find out so time to time what i believe is that you know you need to find a middle ground where you need races and when you when you reach the finish line you need to take some rest you need to relax you need to enjoy and even while being in the race you need to enjoy the track if that's not something that you do then you're not going to remember anything you're not going to remember any experience that you lived 
whatever experiences I'm having right now, I'm trying to enjoy them. I'm trying to have fun. You know, I'm I'm looking at my life as a movie because only then is, does it become very interesting. I, I love spending time with just myself, like, you know, just talking to myself and, and being a, like just being with myself, just having a certain type of satisfaction in my head. That's what I love about, right? So, yeah, being more with yourself does pull you out of this race, I believe, and that's what I think helps. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, that's it for the video, I guess. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.